Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and today, yes it was Brighton's uh, away shirt launch I have got it, but obviously the fixtures were released today as well so I'm going to give you my opinion on them, I haven't looked at them yet um, so I'm just going to grab my phone and have a quick look if you don't believe me, here it is oh ok, so we're away to Watford on the first day of the season um, so just like last season, we are away to Watford. Um, not being disrespectful to Watford, but I would like somewhere else to go. Um, especially last year finishes such a disappointment for us. Hopefully we can turn it around this time round. Um, and then we at home to West Ham. Our first ever home game of the new uh, campaign. West Ham is uh, quite a dodgy sort of team for us we always manage to scrape a win or maybe the draw um, you know it's one of them things where you're going to have to look at how West Ham performed during the the uh, obviously week leading up and who I signed as well and then we're at home to Southampton um, South Coast Derby I'll call it I know some of you will argue but I'll call it South Coast Derby. If you want to call it South Coast Derby, it's up to you. Um, so that one, so we've got two back-to-back -back home games in a row. Um, I'm expecting four, maybe six points out of that. Let's just see who we sign and who our opponents sign as well. And then we go away to City. What a nice way to end August. Away to City, away to the champions of the Premier League. So I'm expecting August to be quite a tough month for us and um, hopefully we can, you know, as I said, get six points out of them four games, maybe nine um, if we're pushing Watford. And then we get, it must be an international break, it starts September, because our next game ain't until the 14th of September at home to Burnley. So, Burnley, yet yeah, again, a bit of a dodgy side when it comes to us. Um, I don't expect a lot of Burnley, but you never can tell it's a new season for them. Um, after last season, after, you know, nearly failed to stay up if we didn't struggle so much, it might be a bit of a different story. So, that one is going to be an interesting fixture. Um the first one in September and then we go away to Newcastle obviously it's our furthest we have to travel from the south coast all the way up to the north east um, I've been up there once I don't think I took you guys with me but that is a long way um, yet again Newcastle won the title off us I don't want to couple out of them too much but thanks to a last minute uh, fellow equaliser so I'm expecting to go up for the park on the 19th of October um, to get the three points. So I think they owe us that. Um, but anyway, back to the fixtures. I'm just going to wrap off a couple of more and then I'll wrap off the derby. Uh, well, derby's not derby. It's up to you. Um, and then we away to Chelsea on the 28th of September. So... You know, that's not going to be an easy three points, whoever is in charge, whether it's there. And, um, you know, uh, their manager now, it looks less than likely, but never can tell. Um, and then that's how we finish September. We start October um, at home to Tottenham. So, well, let's just find out. Norwich, 2nd of November, one finding a game against Palace. Um, who can forget? Who can never forget that five nil um, against Norwich this season? Uh, last time we played them at the MX, um, that was quite a good game. Hopefully, another one there. Away to United, away to Liverpool, away to Arsenal. So we're basically playing the top six. Well, three of the top six within four weeks of football. Um, yeah, all in November. And one in December, which is Arsenal. Palace away, uh, 14th of December. Um, you know, 
great victory for us up, up there last time. Hopefully we can do that again. Uh, and then we go West Ham away. Yeah, again, as I said a bit earlier, dodgy team for us. Could have possibly got three points up there last time. Um, you know, I'll let you debate on that. Um, and then we go at home to Crystal Palace on the 29th of February. So, you know, it's all going to be um, with Palace. Depends how we perform up there, I think, whether what Palace we get down here. Away to Norwich, level of April. I was fortunate to go to Norwich when we got promoted from the championship. What a laugh that was. Um, I ain't going to tell you too much about it, but it was a great laugh. I urge anyone of the Brighton fans to try and get up there. Um, purely because it is such a lovely place and we had a laugh. Hopefully we could do it again. Um, and then we finish our season off at Burnley. Um, okay, so our last home games against Newcastle. So, you know, whereas last season we did have quite a tough running. Set from Man City on the 25th of April. They're all winnable games, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but we've got Southampton on the 2nd of May away. So, yeah, again, finishing on the South Coast Derby, as I said, it's up to you. But, yeah, pretty promising uh, running of fixtures. Um, obviously, I'm bringing my vlogs back to the channel. I'm bringing my match previews back as well, so you can see my my opinion on the 1-11 and, you know, stuff like that. But anyway, guys, time you came here for. Um, the new Brighton away top. And, hold on a minute. <laughs> get, get it in there, get it in there, get it in there. Hold on, I'll stand up, might be a bit. There it is. The new Brighton and Hove Albion. Away top for the 2019-2020 season. Um, and there's nothing on the back. Um, not at all. I mean, I ain't even got a name or a number. Uh, same as the home top, £52. Um, what would I say about the top? I wish on the back, maybe like up here, put a bit of the home... Um, design from last season into this away top um, you know uh, bl maybe blue maybe white maybe go to red um, you know and put BHAFC on the back um, I think it's a very plain design just grab it back um, but yeah overall I'm happy I like the uh, the cotton they've used um, as a design, I'll, I'll probably really low rating um, three. It's not that I don't like the top, I just find it very plain. Um, you know, as well as last season, we had Sussex by the Sea in the home collar, in the home top, sorry. Um, and then we had uh, BHAFC on the back, and I think we had 1901 down the bottom. Um, but yeah, very plain design, I'll, I'll rate it a 3, but there's only one thing for me left to do, and that's to get it on. And here I am with the new Brighton away top on. Um, the badge, I do like the Brighton badge. Um, obviously you can tell it's black and white, we'll be able to tell that when I just showed you anyway. White tick, as I said, very plain Brighton shirt. Um, if I was Nike, as I say, I'd just give them a bit of advice that I've just given you. Um, but yeah, literally, there's only about 55 days away before the Premier League campaign kicks off. Guys, as I said at the start of the video, I'm bringing my vlogs back as well. So, guys, you know what to do. Give the show a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.